Morning, my morning, he awakens me, opens my ear, awakes my understanding. Morning, my morning, he awakens me, ready to learn from him. Good morning and welcome to Morning by Morning. On Friday, February the 26th, 2021. We've been thinking generally about noonday and the noonday heat. But there's one particular noonday when things were very different. The noon of the day Christ died. It was now about noon. And darkness came over the whole land until three in the afternoon. For the sun stopped shining, and the curtain of the temple was torn in two. Jesus called out with a loud voice, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. When he had said this, he breathed his last I'm sure all of us can recall the details of the last days, the last moments of a loved one. I'm sure too that we often recall them, perhaps more often than we care to admit, because they are not just difficult moments, but very precious moments. Each time we do think back to these times, I believe some kind of settling goes on of our grief, our regret, our anger. Perhaps we hardly notice that anything's different. But I believe that such remembering is one of the ways in which time heals, or at least allows us to live with our loss. Our sense of loss often goes hand in hand with an enormous sense of love and gratitude for the presence of that person in our life. The Lord Jesus is our loved one. So we obviously think about these last moments on Good Friday, Holy Week, perhaps even as we approach the Lord's Supper. It's good to think of them often, to think of that Friday at noon. It allows the settling in our hearts of our sorry, sorrow for the head sore wounded, but sorrow too that our sin made that death necessary, as well as a resetting <clears throat> of our lives in response to the death that brought us life. A strange noon this is, The brightest time of day becomes dark. The sun in the hour of all its glory stops shining as the light of the world begins his final moments. The light of the world made dark because of us and for us at noon on that Good Friday. The beginning of the end of our loved one. Jesus Christ. Perhaps a noon worth recalling every Friday. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for that noon like no other. Your death like no other. Your light darkened to bring us life. We praise and thank you in your name. Amen. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the Prince of Glory dies, My richest gain I count but loss and poor contempt on all my pride. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast, save it. 
sacrifice them to his blood. See from his head, his hands, his feet, sorrow and love flow mingled down. Did there such love and sorrow meet, or thorns compose so rich a crown? Were the whole realm of nature mine that would an offering far too small love so amazing so divine demands my soul my